already, okay? I'm not taking advice from some guy you have drinks. He's with. a friend, and he's right. Look, you can't just walk away from me. We're not done talking about this. Jane's been waiting half an hour. All right, we'll talk later. Let her wait. This is a lot more important. Besides, you can't drive. You're drunk. Oh, you want to drive? Uh, My one beer versus your half bottle of wine. Who should go? That's what I thought. Just go back in and cool off. I think they know how old we are in there. Well, I'll buy for the both of us. Hey, you're a terrible influence. But it does look pretty good. Yeah, I have the coolest cousin. He'll totally hook you up. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Hey, sweetheart, sorry I'm late. Uh -huh. Traffic? Not tonight, Carly. Good night. Good night. So our set was pretty killer, but the guys after us were so good. There was a guy with a cello. Dad? Yeah, what's that? Well, is everything okay? Just your mother, you know. She keeps telling me. Listen, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I, uh, I really shouldn't be bringing you into this. Damn it, I gotta take this, sorry. Hey, Jim, what's up? No, listen, I'm telling you, the figures are there. Well, I don't know what you're looking at, but I proved everything before I left. Dad? Look. Listen to me, Jim. It's the minute I get home, I will look Dad, at the look. Dad. I think it's hospital policy. Come on. Okay. Thanks. There you go. Can I hug you? Of course you can. Come here, come here. Your books are my books, remember? Mm hmm. Hold these. Yeah. Can I push it? Yeah. Just be careful. Great. I'm an invalid at 17. Oh, the doctor said your infection is under control. We just need to make sure you take the full course of antibiotics. I know. I was there. Also, the painkillers you're on are a class 2 narcotic. We'll have to monitor your intake. Really, Mom? What? Apparently they cause constipation. We don't want that, do we? You okay? Yeah, I can. I'm fine. You know, I spoke to the superintendent, and he said that as long as you pass your exams, it's not going to affect your college acceptance. Awesome. Thanks. Also, um, I was thinking if you wanted, I could move your bed downstairs to make it easier for you. I can do stairs, Mom. Look, I don't... I'm sorry. I'm just... Thank you. Now, can we just get going, please? Go. Thanks. Hi, Brian. Hey, Till. <laughs> Listen, I got a jet. I'll see you soon. See you. Who's Brian? He's a friend. A friend? What? Well, I have friends. So you just decided to kick Dad out of the house? He left. Well, now you're dating. <laughs> it's 
been two months, right? He's been a really big help since you've been gone. And you're only deciding to tell me this now? I did not want to confuse you. Confuse me? Really? You don't know how hard it has been taking care of you and trying to keep life normal for your little sister. Mom, I'm the one who almost died, remember? Lisa, I know that, sweetheart, but you are not the only one who's been affected. Look at my prescriptions. My leg hurts really bad. It does? Yeah, of course I can. But we're gonna talk when I come back, okay? Sure. I love you. How's the portobello? It's actually pretty good. The vegetarian options at the hospital are lacking. <laughs> you mean they sucked? Tail? <laughs> well, this makes me happy. All of us back around the table together. All of us. Look, your father and I, we spoke, and we decided that it would be best if he wasn't here when you got home, just to avoid making things difficult for everyone. Mission accomplished. Until you're about done. Mm -hmm. Remember that game you were telling me about? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go inside and set it up? Why isn't Dad here? Honestly, he still cannot deal with the accident. He didn't want to make things harder for you. He's going through a very hard time right now. That's bull. You didn't want him here, and you're using me as an excuse. Is that what he told you? No. Has he been returning your phone calls? Till's waiting for me. I'll get those. No, I can do it, Mom. Honey, I'm your mother. I can help you. Good morning. Morning. I booked you a training session at the gym this afternoon with the trainer. You know, so we can strengthen your leg like the physiotherapist told us to? I thought we could do those exercises at home. I know, but why not get a professional's help if we can? So, we have the whole day to ourselves. What do you want to do? I probably should be studying. Oh, come on, you've been locked in a room for months. You should get out, you're free. I guess I could use some new clothes. Aha, now we're talking. Mom, I can't pull off hats. No, of course you can, you just have to know which one to buy. Oh my God. What? I had a hat just like this in college, and it went with absolutely everything. Ugh, the advantage of getting older is that all your styles come back. What do you think? Uh... Really? We have to work on your style. <laughs> are you and Dad talking? Yeah, most days. Well, are you guys gonna try, like, therapy or... You had to know this has been coming for some time. 
And then with the added stress of the accident. Mom, things get put back together all the time. Look, all that you need to understand is how much we love you. And that all we want is for you to get better. What about this? Maybe. Hmm. Is that new? Oh, yeah, it was a gift. From Dad? Do you want to try this on? Welcome, welcome, ladies. What can I possibly do to improve your perfection? Well, uh, sir, my daughter has a, an appointment for a training session for some rehab on her knee. She recently had surgery. So, you're Brian? Yes, I am Brian McGavin. You must be Jane? Yep. I thought this would be a nice way to introduce you. He helped me get in such great shape. Right. Yeah, everybody loves a good ambush, right? It's funny. Since you're here, though, why don't you let me help you rehab your knee? Sounds good. I, um, I just need to return a text. No worries. All right. You did great. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. oh, please, Sam, don't saw me like that. What? No, I don't want you to. I, I want to. Presto, it's like you were never here. It's that time again now, though. Can I take you to lunch? We would love that, wouldn't we? I can't see why not. <laughs> great. All right, I'll get my things and meet you up front. Sure. Cool. Thank you for being so good about this. Yeah, well, I believe in putting in the work. Carly! Hi! I was just walking past and I saw you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know I should have called you, but... Things, you know? Yeah, <laughs> things are the worst. What are you doing right this second? Oh, uh, Brian is taking us to lunch. And Brian is? That would be me. <laughs> yep, Hi. Carly meet Brian and vice versa. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, four for lunch? Actually, I was kind of hoping I could steal Jay away from you. We haven't seen each other in weeks. Oh, no, because we really wanted to... Really, Mom? Tell you what, why don't I come by later on today, I'll make my famous risotto for you, and then, you know, we'll get to know each other then. That sounds great to me. Mom? Okay, sure, fine. Just be home by 7? Thank you. Double for me, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we? Okay. I don't know why you called for a rescue. He seems pretty awesome. <sighs> what were you basing that on? I heard he has famous risotto. It's pretty famous. It, this isn't a great time for jokes, Carly. This is the perfect time for jokes, okay? Your mother is cougaring her way into the heart and pants of a male model. Okay, embrace the absurdity. <laughs> Has everyone gone insane except for me? Maybe. But if we've all gone crazy in the exact same way, maybe you're the crazy one. That's really reassuring. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, where are we headed? Jane, you're looking great. Yeah, I'm a medical marvel. So is my dad in? Uh, he's actually out, I'm sorry. Well, can I wait in his office until he gets back? Yeah, that would be fine, but he's got meetings all day and he probably won't be back. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks anyways. Sorry, um, I forgot. What hotel is he staying in again? 
You sure you don't want me to stay? I'll be fine. Thank you for the rescue and the ride. No problem. Call if you need anything, okay? Will do. answered your phone. I'm sorry about that. I don't have a good excuse. There's been a lot going on and I don't, I don't want my problems to become your problems. Dad, you disappearing is my problem. Jeannie. No, no, just wait for a second. You feeling guilty and being gone is just making all of this worse. Did you even know that mom is dating some other guy? Yeah, I heard that. Okay, so do you have a plan to do something about that? There's nothing I can do about it. Can I take you out to dinner? I just need to get cleaned up. Mom's expecting me home. Okay. Maybe um, we take the long way home. It's a chance to chat. Okay, I'd like that. Okay. <sighs> this is new territory for all of us, Janie, and I... to learn how to cope. Is this helping? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Jane, we were getting worried. Is Carly gonna... Hello, Paul. Hi. It's really no problem if you guys want me to fix your... You should have called Paul. He was just driving me home. So why don't you help me out in the kitchen and we'll give your parents a chance to talk? Yeah, okay. Let's talk outside. Wait, is that on? I'm helping. No, that's not safe. You have to keep stirring the risotto or it will lose its texture. Then you have to call. Um, hey. Hey, Till, you got your headphones? Why don't you watch a movie while we finish up? Fine. I'm sorry, Jane. But all of this never meant to cause your family any trouble. No, it wasn't you. It's um, them. They're just constantly fighting. It's not uncommon nowadays, unfortunately. I'm not going to pry. I have company. You don't just come to my house. You don't get to decide that. Yes, I Guys. do. It's my house. Your Guys. house. Paul, why don't we just dial it down a notch, okay? It's a kid in the other room. Yeah, my kid. And who the hell are you, anyway? He's yeah. my guest. We're going to cool off, take a breath, and step down, yeah? You don't get to tell me what to do. Dad, look, you don't just speak to my invited guest in any tone. Mom, of what? He started it. Mom, I'm the one who started it. Bringing you back. I'm sleeping with your wife. Oh, I'm going to raise your kids as my own. Obviously not Dad! Dad! Get your ass out of here! Dad, what is wrong with you? I'm calling the police. You don't have to Just call don't them. make this any worse. It's okay. Janie. No, no, no. Jane!
He's gonna be okay. Is he... What happened, Jane? Nothing. It was just an accident. Accidents are okay. Mommy told me so. Yeah. You're gonna be okay, okay? Good news is he isn't pressing charges, so that's something. That's good. Bad news is your wife has filed for a restraining order against you. Can she do that? I have seen the boy toy's face. Yes, she absolutely can. He said he was sleeping with my wife and he was going to raise my kids. <sighs> There's a hearing in two days. Go in, make your case to the judge. Preferably in something that doesn't smell of bourbon and cigarettes. Well, I don't normally, uh, you know, there was a work thing. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I'm off to the gym. Jane, do you want me to make another appointment with Brian for your training? I can keep doing my exercises at home. Thanks. Sure. It's your choice. Hey, have either of you seen my bracelet? No. Nope. Jane? What? Have you seen my bracelet? Your new one. Hmm. No. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I'm going to the gym and I'm gonna run some errands. Stay out of trouble. Bye. So, who's ready for a day of watching me study? Yay. Oh, okay. She's never been this closed off before. And no matter what happens, we could always talk about it. I know she's really upset about the separation. I mean, I made Paul leave to protect the girls from him, but now... Hey, it's okay. We're gonna get you through this. Just tell me how I can help. How can I help? Just hold me. Okay. <sighs> Hi. How are my girls holding up? We found you a present. We? What are you talking about? Ta-da! Oh. Thank you. It was in my shoe. Ah. Well, tomorrow night, we're going to go to the movies, and you are going to decide what we see. Tomorrow night? Why not tonight? Because I have plans tonight. With Brian. After last night, maybe you should, I don't know, maybe back off. OK, I appreciate your concern, but I don't need your input when I'm Clasp is broken. I take it to the jewelers.
Sweetheart. Hi. Um, quick question. Is that what you're wearing today? To exercise? Yeah. It's just, um, I was talking to Brian, and... Well, he would really like to take you out to lunch today. You know, so you can get to know each other better. Why do you keep springing these things on me, Mom? So you wouldn't have time to come up with excuses? When's this lunch supposed to happen? Nowish. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe wear the dress that we bought the other day. Everything set? Yeah. Other than a little grumbling. You're not wearing your bracelet. Oh, that's funny. You didn't notice I wasn't wearing it last night. Well, last night I had more important things on my mind. Yes, you did. Mm. Mm. It's no big deal. The class broke, so I took it into Myers. Myers? That's where you bought it, right? They said I could pick it up today. Why don't you let me pick it up? You don't mind? Not at all. Honestly, it's right across from the restaurant I'm taking Jane to. You are a lifesaver, thank you. My pleasure. Here is the ticket. And they said that it would cost me... Ooh, which money away? Seriously, if they're not going to guarantee their work, then I will. What kind of gift would it be if I didn't? You're so sweet. Mm. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> what did I say? You look great. Ready for lunch? As I'll ever be. All right. You want to go in and get us a table? I just have to pick something up for your mother and Myers. Yeah, okay, I can yeah. do that. I'll be two seconds. Oh, if a friend of yours incidentally just happens to turn up out of the blue to act as a conversational buffer, I won't be offended. Sure. <laughs> Be right back. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Hi there. How can I help you today? Sure to pick up a bracelet? Of course. I think you were fixing the clasp? I have it right here. It's a stunning piece. That's the one. The girls certainly think so. Much value? You don't remember me, do you? Uh, should I? Don't bother pretending. I was here three years ago when you bought this bracelet. What are you talking about? Fine. Let me tell you a story <laughs> about a handsome young man who came into a jewelry store a number of times with an older, wealthy woman whom we're going to call Lady A. Then, after a few months, lo and behold, he's been authorized to buy things on her account. Well, sure enough, one day he comes in and he buys this bracelet. But for another woman, Lady B, a similarly well-heeled woman, well, not too long after that, Lady A suddenly dies in an accident. And later that year, Lady B suddenly isn't around anymore either. Hmm. Now let's fast forward a year. A new Lady C walks into this store holding the exact same bracelet. Now, let's talk about what you can do for me. Shut your mouth. I did date a lovely older woman, and she was prone to buying me nice things. Then she died peacefully in her sleep, and I loved her. What about Lady B? Quit it with your algebra, man. This is my life that we're talking about. So why don't we step back and game this out for a second? Your absolute best case scenario so you go to the police with your crazy story. They come back to me armed with a complete lack of evidence, and after I've politely acquiesced and answered all of their questions, and they've gone, what am I gonna do then? You like stories so much, you care to offer a hypothetical? You're probably thinking that if you turn up dead in an alleyway after going to the police, they'll know it was me. Maybe, but here's the thing. There's an enormous difference between knowing something and actually being able to prove it. So hypothetically, is that how you want this thing to end? Dead in an alleyway? I asked you a question. No. <clears throat> no. 
Am I ever gonna hear another word out of your stupid little mouth? Good. It was a rhetorical question, but you saw right through it. I'm impressed. You better pray that a traffic cop doesn't so much as give me a second look at a red light, or I will be back. Ta-da! I'm only 17. Yeah, don't worry about it. I told you you were 21. Well, I hope you don't mind. It's about to be a nice icebreaker, you know? I had my first drink in my parents' basement. This is way cooler. I had my first drink in a park, and I threw up. So you're saying this isn't my first? I'm saying I think alcohol tastes horrible. Uh, I bet you can't even taste it in this. Wait, don't you think this is going to interact with my pimples? No, I don't know. It's so diluted. I'm sure you're fine. Why is your leg still hurting a lot? <sighs> yeah, you wouldn't believe how bad. I can imagine how much strength and courage it takes to go through something like that. So, my mother, what's happening there? Maybe I should cut you off. Well, that's why we're here, isn't it? Okay. Go. Age difference. Doesn't bother me. Children? I think they're great. Gold digger. I'm doing fine on my own. Thank you very much. I don't get it. I have to. Seriously, you don't have to like me. You don't even have to trust me. I don't expect anything from you except maybe a chance. You can watch me like a hawk if you like. I accept your judgment. But I do like your mother a lot. I want to treat her right. So going forward, why don't you let me know if I'm up to your standards or not? Okay. Provisionally. Okay. Excuse me. Just a check, please. Of course. Thanks. All business? Well, I'm sure you'd rather be hanging out with your friends. I'm just happy you got a chance to talk. Yeah, that, that's cool. <laughs> I say we drink up and get out of here. Don't be mad. It's nothing bad. Why would you say that? Just need to learn something by you. Today at lunch, uh -huh. Jane wanted to have a drink. And she told me that sometimes on special occasions, you'll let her have a little bit of alcohol. And I think it'd be very trust building if I were to call you and ask, especially in front of her. So, uh, kind of sort of went along with it and hope you're cool with that. I'm a little surprised. But it's true, I do let her have a sip from time to time. It's just, she's on pain medication right now. I'm sorry, Sam, I totally forgot. Where is she, is she okay? Uh, yeah, she's at Carly's, I dropped her off. She's great. I'm gonna give her a call. Why? I mean, it was diluted, she just had a few sips. I had my first drink, a lot younger, and look at me, picture of health, I'm a physiotherapist. <laughs> right? Are you sure? 100% sure. I you something. You did? Yeah. Ta -da. Oh. <laughs> you are so beautiful. Mm. And you worry too much. You're a terrific mother. I still don't know. How are you supposed to spend two hours with someone and then still not have an impression of them? Well, it helps if you're not sauced. I know I shouldn't have told you. I'm going to hold that one over you for a while. Seriously, though, your mom seems happy, and he seems nice enough. What's eating you? It's just... I thought we were a family, you know? Like, through all the crap and all that fighting, 
we were in this together. But I guess it's just every man for himself. <laughs> it sucks, but tough it out for three more months, and then you're at college, and all of this seems like petty nonsense. Yeah, if I pass my exam on Wednesday. Well, what are you doing talking to me? Go hit those books, girl. If you're not too wasted. Yeah, you're probably right. How's your leg feeling? Not better. Well, you have been pushing yourself a lot lately. Maybe you should see Brian again. I think we see enough of him already. He said you had a really fun lunch. We did. I'm just saying. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I didn't. Are you back on the crutches? Yeah. Some of those pills that she's taking every day. I don't know. The doctor says that we should monitor them, but what does that mean? If she's in pain, she has to take them, right? Right. Put something in the car. Be right back. Listen, I've got this app, okay? Fancy new sucker. Now you can press start anywhere, anytime, and it just tells you exactly how far you've traveled. So for example, I was over there on the driveway, which, as you well know, is on the property. Then I came all the way over here, and would you look at that? <laughs> 220 hot feet. <sighs> That's very naughty, Paul. So I just wanted you to know that I know. And it's also important to note that I have a record of how you feel about judicial rulings. Understand? Cool. Knew you would. <laughs> what, are you gonna run me over, Paul? Mm. It's a risky move. I'm very impressed. But it's not exactly gonna win you any friends around here. Uh, what the hell do I care, right? Come on. Come on, take your shot. Good luck in there. We'll do. Okay. Pens and my calculator. For my pills? Well, I just figured you wouldn't be taking them for the next two hours. So. It's a three hour exam, Mom. Give. Now. Please. Okay. Thank you. See you at noon, okay? Mm-hmm. 
fine. I'm okay. I'll deal with it. How'd it go? We'll see. sister just going through a really hard time right now but you can help them with that can yeah absolutely i mean once they see how strong you can be that inspires them to be even stronger Do you understand yeah but i'm scared you don't have to be so guess what what i am not going anywhere get some sleep huh? Jane, you feeling all right? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, just a little, uh, weird. You're probably just hungry. Just gonna dinner like that. Here, have another pancake. Okay. They're great. Yeah, maybe, yeah. That's very good. Now, I just need to ask you a few questions about what happened, and then I can bring your family over. Okay. Can you tell me what day it is? It's, uh... It's Thursday. Thursday. Great. you every second if that's what it takes. We almost lost you once. I am not going to let you throw your life away. Wait, do you have any idea what this is doing to your family? You're right. Come on. I've been blaming you. And Brian. And myself. And I've been trying everything to get Dad off the hook and... It's been killing me. I can't do it anymore. Oh, I know this is so hard. But you have to know this is the first step to you getting better. Can I see him? 
Um, no, honey, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. No, I have to. I have to tell him what he did, make him understand, and then I'll never see him again. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You need to listen to me very carefully. I don't have much time. Brian tried to kill me yesterday. What? For the past two weeks, my pain has been getting worse. I have been taking more and more pills and they haven't done a thing. And then I take five this morning and it hits me like a truck. I'm apparently lucky that my liver didn't shut down. And the only possible explanation is that my pills are switched out for placebos or something and then switched back. That's crazy. Yeah, maybe he's crazy. Maybe it's part of the bigger plan. I don't know, but it happened, Dad. Okay, did you tell your mother about this? No. Okay, look. We should go to the police. This is exactly what I need to get the restraining order You're reversed. You're not going to believe me. I don't have any proof. More importantly, it's now my medical record that I am addicted to painkillers and may have attempted suicide. So if I do as so much as frown, they're gonna have me institutionalized in a heartbeat. Listen. Why don't you just stay here? No, she's not going to let me, Dad. She thinks I'm disassociating with you right now. Why would she think that? This is what I need from you. You can't fly off the handle. Don't confront Mom or Brian. I need you to find out as much information as you can about him, and then we'll figure it out from there, okay? Dad? Okay, okay. Thank you. I love you, baby. She'll be waiting for me. It's Carly, I'll get it. Hi, Carly. Hi, Sam. Uh, we're just gonna go up to my room for a bit. What is going on? Did you get the meds? Yeah, here. The pharmacist said three of these is as good as one of your pain kills. Okay, just don't take more than three and drink lots of water. Thanks. And the other thing? Yeah, I brought it. You can still track all of your runs. Yeah. You know what to do with it. Yes, and I'm so nervous I can't breathe. No, it's okay. I need you to get in contact with your cousin for me. I assume you mean the shady one? Yeah, I need that. Find out how much it'll cost and I'll figure out how to get the money to you. Okay, I'll cover you. Just get it to me later. You have to tell me what this is about. As soon as I can, I promise. Just not in here. Okay. Thank you.
todo mi jibar. So I'm going to have a J and Of course, there's not much of anything I wouldn't do for you. <laughs> I've already got somebody looking into the status of your business. Sure, you used your family money to start it, but we can make a good case that you... No, no, no. Uh, you're not here about that. Oh. Social call? No. It's about the guy my wife is dating. Yeah, I don't do kneecaps. <laughs> it's too bad. If he's going to be spending a lot of time with my wife and my daughters, I need to know more about him. Yeah. Okay. I will uh, I'll make some calls, look into a few things. Right. M E E G O. Migo. That's not a word. Sure it is. Use it in a sentence. Uh, me go to the mall. Put it back. Hey, does anyone want to go out tomorrow night? I'm feeling a little cooped up. Dinner in a movie? Sounds good to me. Can I pick? We'll see. Nineteen. Twenty! Good job. Good job. I'm off to make the world more beautiful. Mm. Thanks. Where's your mom? Uh, she is outside with Till, fixing the garden or something. I can't keep track. Get back on your cane. Jane, that's great. Oh, you? I am just stronger than ever. <laughs> Watch out. Good things. Yeah, I like it. That's all that matters. Hey, girls. We can just go some other night. That's not a problem. No, you said. I know. Hey, what's going on? Jane's in too much pain to come. Oh. But if we're still going, you promise. Do you think you'll be all right? I don't want to cause any problems. I think I just pushed it too hard. I'll take a nap, and then when you guys get home, we can go out for a walk. I can show you how much better I'm doing. That sounds like a plan. You can take one of these in an hour, okay? Thank you. Come on, we're gonna miss it. Enjoy the movie, though. I love you. I love you, too. I need your help. Hi. Three for Crook, please. Uh, 
Hi. Jane Carlin? Yeah, that's me. Um, I lost my keys on the way from the physio, and my sister has my spare ones, and she's out of town at the moment. Uh -huh. You got any ID? Of course, yeah. Um, can you hold that? Okay. It's uh, take about 20 minutes. Paying cash, 10% discount. Yeah, that's great. We should record all this. Yeah. Just to be clear, you know we're documenting a crime, right? Yeah. So let's make it count. Hey. cheap door. I mean, we can break it, but if we do, we can't pretend we weren't here. Which you're fine with, apparently. Wow, my cousin would love this place. Who still has a fax machine? People who do business. Get pictures of everything. Jane? What? This is your house. You got it? Mm hmm. Over here. It's full of something. Okay, this is definitely a crime. Serious crime. I mean, there's no reason for him to have this otherwise. Yeah. Wait, I think this is my mother's. Okay, we need to go. We're taking this. Okay. That's your fast, Tilly. Oh no, that's them. Pull over. Okay, what are you gonna do? It's okay. I'll just walk home and say I went for a stroll. What about this? Take it home. Don't let it out of your sight. Come get me tomorrow morning. What about my dad? That the police probably. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. You know, I should have texted you. I started feeling better about an hour ago, so I decided to stretch out my leg. Hmm. Are you hungry? Uh, no, I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Hey, whatever you want. Night. Sweet dreams. Hey, Jane. Hey. Sorry you missed the movie. Uh, yeah, me too. But Till explained it really well. So, good night. Good night.
Did you sleep badly? Oh, a little. I think I should cut down to like half a pill. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Carly's gonna be here any second, so I will just grab a bagel. What are you girls doing today? We're just looking for a new guitar for her, and she just wants some input on the sound. Sounds cool. I'll be home before dinner. Bye. Right? Huh? Was something important? It's a minor emergency at work. I have to head in right away. What? I thought we were gonna... Yeah, I know, me too. But a trainer got hurt spotting somebody. So I'll make it as quick as I can. And I'll call you as soon as I'm on the way home. Okay. Mm. Bye. stuff this is. Maybe your dad will know what to do with it. Yeah, I hope so, or someone who will. I just would very much like to not go to jail. You and me both. I'll send them to my dad. There's not much hard evidence of a direct crime, but it is enough to be concerned about. With your permission, I would like to go to the police. Yeah, definitely. Do it now. Where are you going? You call the cops, all right? I'm not leaving this guy alone with my wife and daughters for one more second. Paul, there's a restraining order! Yeah, well then they can arrest both of us. Paul! baby. Jay's not there, is she? Great. Listen, I just have some amazing news. So why don't you fire up the hot tub, open up a bottle of the good stuff, make sure Tilly's watching the movie, and I will be right there? <laughs> Absolutely. I love you too. Mwah. Finally, to let you take a ride in my car. It's not too dangerous. Of course it is, sweetie. That's what makes it so much fun. Come on, let's go. Move your tablet. Yay! Go ahead, lead the way. Yeah. In you go. Don't forget to buckle up. Okay, stay right here, little one. I'm just gonna go say bye to your mom, okay? Okay. Okay. What's the good news? Some very exciting investments have matured. It looks like this guy's coming into some serious quit his job kind of money. That's amazing. You know, right? Now we can get Jane the best of the. Hold 
on, hold on. Hold on. I got you. My daddy's here. I know. Uh, he wanted to talk to your mom alone, so we get to go for a ride. Cool? Yeah. yeah. What's up? Not much. You're not with the police, are you? What are you talking about? I don't have time to play games, Jane. I want my jewelry and belongings back. And in exchange, I'm willing to return your sister to you completely unharmed. Say hi to Jane, Till. Hi, Jane. <laughs> oh, don't worry. She has absolutely no idea what's going on. Now, as her only family member, I assume her safety is your top priority? Wait, only? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Your father showed up at the house and started screaming at your mother. Looked like it might turn violent. Something about a lot of money lost to bad investments. That was money that you stole. Even if that were true, I imagine it would be nearly impossible to prove. Well, I bet those jewels and photographs I took would prove something, wouldn't they? I bet the police would love to see them. Maybe. But I think you're missing the point here, Jane. I'm going to drive her to a secure location. I will then telephone you to meet me in a public place. Once you have relinquished all of my property and I get far enough away that I can be sure you haven't notified the authorities, I promise I will call you back and tell you where to go. How can I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you what to do if you ever want to see your sister alive again. Sorry about that. You all set? Mm -hmm. All right. Buckle up. Girl, safety first, right? We need to call the cops. We can't do that, Carly. She's gonna kill her. What else can we do? Wait, 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 your watch. Can't you still track him using your watch? Oh my God, check it. There he is, you need to get on the highway and go north, right now. Cool, isn't it? So cool. Do wizards live here? Yeah, they could. Hey, I'll race upstairs. The map says he's here. Okay, great. So now we call the cops. No, not yet. He's gonna call me and want to meet up, right? So, we wait until he leaves, and then once Tilly's safe, we have the cops meet him wherever he wants to meet me. Okay. What do I do? Drive away. But stay close. Once he's gone, you're gonna come and pick us up. Jane, are you sure? Yes. 
tight, just be careful. Hungry? Where's Tilly? I sure am. Meet me at the same restaurant that I took you to in exactly one hour. Don't make me repeat myself, okay? Five inches, last seen with a 30-year-old male driving in a Mustang. calling the cops and I'm telling them about Tilly. Okay, Brian turned around, he's on his way back and he's only a couple of seconds out. What? How? Just get out of the house. I'm coming for you. Okay, hurry. Okay, Tilly, I need you to do something for me and exactly what I say, okay? Okay. Good, now listen to me.
Jane. I know you're still here, Jane. Janie. Might as well just come out and say hi. I just want to talk to you. You didn't have time to get away, did you? This doesn't have to end badly, Jane. Now, if you have my stuff, you can always just take it and go. Trust me, little girl. It's your best option. I don't want to hurt you or Tilly, Jane. Just put me in really, really awkward position, you know? Jane? Are you safe? 